Alright, welcome to another day of uh, doing dailies with me on Genshin Impact. Alright, so we're gonna pull up the menu and see what our dailies are today. Looks like they're all gonna be here in Inazuma. Uh, let's go to the Grand Narakami Shrine. Let's see if Yaimiko's there. Quests. Well, hello there, young ones. What brings you to the shrine? It just so happens that I have a wonderful novel here. I highly recommend it. Oh? Well, what did you want to ask? No, not at all. It's nothing major. L Lady Guji, what do you mean, nothing major? I'm begging you, you've got to help me save my brother. It really is nothing major. I stand by that. Oh, but since you're so curious, let's have him relate the story one more time, just for you. You two seem to have a good relationship with Guji Ai. Please, put in a good word for me. You have to convince her to help my brother. Here's what happened. My name is Kato Yohei, and my brother is Kato Shingo. All he's ever wanted is to become a swordmaster, so he once asked Sensei Domon of the Meikyo Shisui art to take him on as a disciple. Domon turned him away, took one look at him and said he didn't have what it takes to train in the art of the sword. But my brother wasn't about to resign himself to defeat. He trained every day as hard as he could, and finally proved himself by defeating one of Domon's best disciples in a duel recently. But since his victory, he's been acting extremely strange. It's like he's become a completely different person. The doctors can't find anything wrong with him, so I'm betting it must be the work of an evil spirit. That's why I'm here, begging for Guji Yai's help. <laughs> you know... There really aren't as many evil spirits lurking around as you seem to think. Your brother achieved the goal he'd been striving toward for as long as he can remember, and now it's gone. It's only natural that he feels a little empty and lost while he's trying to find a new direction. If it were me, I'd just leave him be for a couple of days. He'll recover on his own soon enough. No, Lady Guji. If you saw him for yourself, you'd know. I guarantee you, he's not acting like someone who feels empty and lost. Oh, all right, all right. Then tell me, when did your brother spar with Domon's disciple? About... five days ago. Hmm, five days ago, you say? Yes, Lady Guji. That's a long time for him to be acting up like this. I'm really worried about him. Our greatest wish is to one day found our own school, just like Domon. We can't jeopardize that dream now. Wait a minute, now I'm a little confused. Are you here to save your brother, or are you here to make your dreams of founding a martial arts school come true? Uh, well, they're kinda two sides of the same coin, aren't they? Hmm? <sighs> Whatever. Let me ask you this. Have you heard of any interesting new rumors lately? If so, I'd love to hear about them. What? Rumors? I... I haven't heard anything. Oh dear. Well, that's too bad. Lady Guji, please stop changing the subject. This is someone's life we're talking about here. Please, you've gotta help me. Miko, he seems really desperate. This thing with his brother sounds really bad. Come on, you should help him. Uh, 
Okay, fine. Then it's decided. Yay, Miko! So you're gonna help him? Kato, whatever your name was, these two guests are trusted acquaintances of mine. And in fact, they are experts in resolving all manner of strange and supernatural phenomena. Exorcisms and that sort of thing are all in a day's work for them. Yeah! Uh, wait a sec! Um, r really? Is that hesitation that I detect in your voice? So, let me get this straight. You come begging to me for help, I actually recommend someone for the job, then suddenly you start doubting me? Not at all, never. Uh, whatever Lady Guji says, I trust wholeheartedly. Thank you two for your willingness to help. Please follow me. Now hold on a hot second, Miko. We may be a lot of things, but we ain't exorcists. <laughs> Don't worry. If he wants an exorcism, just grab a handful of salt and mutter some mumbo-jumbo while you're sprinkling it around. It's a common trope in light novels, right? You just have to have a bit of bravado. As soon as the protagonist gains self-confidence, everything else just magically falls into place. Well... You were the ones who seemed concerned about his situation. Don't you think it would be a little unfair to make me do all the work? Besides, we both know you wouldn't be here at the Grand Narukami Shrine unless you had a request for me too. This is an opportunity to demonstrate that you come in good faith. <sighs> this feels all wrong, but you technically have a point, so... All right, let's go. Don't worry now, I'll be coming along too. Okay, let's follow Yohei and go visit his brother. What is going on here? Granted, you can never be quite sure what's going on in Miko's mind, but she seems even more disinterested than usual in Yohei's situation. Well, a life's at stake here, so it looks like we'll have to deal with that first before we'll get the chance to ask her about the incantation stuff. Alright, so sorry about that long delay. I totally forgot that uh, her quest was active. But uh, here we are, we're gonna talk to Maki. Let's see, ugh, who on earth is spreading this rumor? What rumor? About the fortune slips at the shrine. You know what fortune slips are, right? To put it simply, they are a form of, oh my god. You can reveal some simple fortunes from the wording on the slip you get. If you get a good sign, great, but people usually leave the bad signs at the shrine to rid themselves of the bad fortune. But a rumor has somehow spread that if you throw the bad slips to the top of the tree, your bad luck will be dispelled by the Archon. Here's the funniest part. Some people even think that the higher you throw it, the faster the good luck will come and the faster the bad luck will dissipate. What nonsense. As the rumors got more and more outrageous, people have started throwing the mora up the tree too. It's said that if the mora you threw gets stuck in the branches, that means that your prayer has been accepted. Not only will your wish come true, but you will also enjoy good luck for a whole year. Hmm, well, is that true? Of course not, let's put that. Let's put aside whether individual prayers can be heard or not. Throwing Mara is just way off. Besides, Mara all look the same, don't they? 
Are they expecting the Archon to pick up the Mora one by one to figure out who they are from? I understand that they want to pray for blessings, but throwing things up there won't get them any. Besides, it all falls down once the wind kicks up. I've tried to clean the tree up my up by myself, but I'm not very athletic. Not only did I fail to clean it up, but I also got stuck for a long time and couldn't get down. But I can't just leave it unattended. Traveler, could you help me go up the roof to clean a little? Ah, uh, fine, fine. No problem, leave it to me. Well, I'm counting on you then, Traveler. Go to the roof and clean it up. And if you get any fortune slips, please bring them to me. Yeah, 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 yeah. Alright. To the roof. To the wind. All right, got one. Ooh, what do we got over here? Some eggs. Take some eggs. In this day and age, can't go past <laughs> enough eggs. Follow the wind. You're done then? Yes. Thank you very much. Leave the fortune slips to me and I'll hang them up in the right place. Please take these as a thanks for your help. I understand that people are desperate to get rid of bad luck and to get good luck. But I think that if they really want to solve their problems, their own actions will be more effective than fortune slips. How do they expect the gods to offer help if they don't take any action themselves? Preaching to the class, sister. Alright, so. Sacred Sakura. Ooh, I can offer some. Ooh, ooh. Alright, one more, and then we get to go to the next barrier level. Barrier Breaker 2. I'm telling you, these barriers suck. I didn't say that though. But I did. Um, so Sakura Blossoms. Illusion Shattered! Sakura Bloom Blossoms. Same diff, hopefully. Yeah. By the protection of the Electro Arc. Shine down. May the blossoms of the sacred Sakura bloom. I wish they would have made uh, a like uh, a catalyst instead of the pole arm, but what else? She's still, like, you know, one of my faves. Ow. No escape! Did I get them? I hope I got them. Talk to the Electro Archon whenever you are troubled. Okay, well, talk to me. I'm here. <laughs> Shattered! 